we need, I think, the intellectual habits and virtues of looking at issues carefully. Mm -hmm. Can you help us with maybe some ways the average Christian can engage with this? I think you modeled it really well just there, what you said about uh, you know, nationalism, it's like, everybody, hold on, calm down. What do you mean? What's that phrase mean to, you know, what are, how are you defining that? And, but what are some maybe other ways that we can learn how to counter this in a constructive, in a, in a biblical way um, as Christians in this culture? Mm -hmm. I think part of it is develop, developing good intellectual habits. In the book, I talk about how do we engage media, for example? How do we form judgments about situations such as George Floyd's death? What was the backstory? What really happened? Is it really indicative of the way uh, black men are typically treated by police officers, white police officers? And my, re my research says, no, it was terrible and a lot of things went wrong. But you can't form a whole view of American society today on the basis of a video. You have to do some research. You have to look at some statistics. So I look at the work of Heather McDonald and Wilford Riley and other folks as a basis for how I view these things. But often we're given an image and then a storyline and then we'll take it to the streets. And if you don't take it to the streets, you're racist or you're a white nationalist or Something like that. So we need, I think, the intellectual habits and virtues of looking at issues carefully. And I have some some uh, advice on that in the book about reading books about important topics or when you go online, try to find a reputable news source. Don't just take little blips from YouTube or Facebook or TikTok or Instagram, but try to find the larger context. And then, of course, desire to view this from a biblical perspective. I've got a chapter defending the biblical worldview in my book because I bring it to bear repeatedly on these issues. So we need to be uh, prayerful and humble, uh, to be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, as James tells us. But once we have some convictions about how to make the world better for the glory of God and the good of all American citizens, then we need to do some things. We shouldn't just sit back and do nothing. But I really worry about uninformed or misinformed activism mm. uh, that is based more on adrenaline than intelligence and research. Right? It's a terrible thing, actually, especially when it burns up city after city in America in 2020. Mm -hmm.